Stevia, again, is one of those things. Does anybody here use Stevia? Yeah, it's pretty popular. I think that people have gone from Splenda to now to Stevia because it's considered a natural um, alternative sweetener. Most people know it as Trivia or there's some other ones out there as well. Um, it's 250 times sweeter than sugar, and that's the Stevia extract. Um, the way we get the extract is we take the plant leaves and then we break it down to get these two extracts that are listed here. The process that's required to do that takes over 40 steps. It's not the natural plant that um, in the past uh, people have said, oh, stevia's been around for many, many years and we've been using it in ancient Chinese society or wherever. This extract is not that. Um, so when you look on the, um, in supplement stores and you see the stevia extract leaves, completely different, uh, or sorry, the stevia leaves, the extract is very, very different from that. Um, so when you look down here at the bottom of this slide, we start out with leaves, you dry them, you get them into a powder, that's where we really should stop. Between the powder and that packet is 40 steps of processing, so it's not natural. So the conception that's out, this, this idea that stevia is this wonder thing, it's a plant, and it's so natural. The, the leaves absolutely are, and you can use them to sweeten your tea, they're not as sweet as that extract. So I would strongly encourage you, if you're a huge fan of stevia, it's really no different um, than a lot of the chemicals that we saw before. Okay, it's a patented process. Um, so all these other, and in addition, there's a lot of processing that goes on, it's not just the extract. They put it with all these other bulking agents, okay? So when they put, like Truvia has um, a sugar alcohol, they make that sugar alcohol from corn that's genetically modified. Which, I mean, if you want to stick away from GMOs, they're not good for us. So it's not just the extract that you're getting in your, in your package. Maltodextrin is derived um, from corn that's also mixed with uh, stevia and the pure edia. And then um, the last one down there is mixed with agave nectar. So it's not just this natural thing. So this is the one I think most people are going to be surprised by because, again, it's marketed and touted as this natural item. And the leaves absolutely are a natural source of the sweetener. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, what's interesting about all of these artificial sweeteners, I can't really say if they cause cancer or not. Right now, we, we don't see in the research that they do. But what I can say is the amount of how our weight has gone up. A BMI is your height to weight ratio. And we have all these artificial sweeteners around. But why is everybody still gaining weight? I mean, like, if you think about it, we're all using all these artificial sweeteners, but we're still having issues with our weight, and they're not even contributing calories. So this graph here is the new products that are, are artificial sweeteners. The number of people that are consuming artificial sweeteners is going up, and so is our BMI. Okay? So what, what's going on here? This is really interesting. Um, what's, what's happening is we have a connection between our gut when we eat food and our mind. So when you eat sugar, normal table sugar, or you have honey, it's sweet and it has calories with it. So those messages sent to your brain, a lot of things happen in your brain when you consume food, and it sends a message to your body, I have calories, I have something sweet, I'm satisfied. When you eat an artificial sweetener, you have the sweet, no calories, it goes to your brain and your brain's like, what do I do with this? I, I don't know, I, I sh maybe I should send a message that I'm full, but I'm not really sure. So it doesn't send that message to tell you, I'm satisfied, I'm satiated, it doesn't happen. Over time, this process, leads us to not be able to properly metabolize and to feel satiated, so you end up overeating. And this little mouse here, because they do a lot of studies with these artificial little sweeteners with mice, I think it's so cute. He's sitting there with his chocolate. Where's my Diet Coke? It just makes you crave more sweets by using the artificial sweeteners. So they go against what they're trying to prevent in the first place, which is weight gain, high blood sugars, diabetes, metabolic syndrome. They're actually doing the exact, they're leaving you at the same place. Okay? It's really, the mind-gut connection is crucial. So does that make sense what happens when you eat the artificial sweeteners? Um, not to mention, like I said, you end up with all these health conditions you're trying to prevent in the first place. And keep in mind, remember I talked about um, Splenda affects your healthy um, bugs in your gut. They help you break down food. It affects the way your body metabolizes nutrients by taking in those artificial sweeteners. 